So today is Sunday 25th of October and the beginning of my hair journey. So I'm not even, I don't even know where to start with this. So I literally woke up today. I woke up late for work. My phone died whilst I was sleeping. It wasn't charging. So just from the jump, the day already started off a hot mess. I had 20 minutes to get ready and I ran out and I was already sort of shooken up i guess like i wasn't yeah the day was already terrible i nearly missed the bus i had to run for that i was lucky with that then the next bus i nearly missed that as well i was like oh my goodness it was raining all in all i just felt really sad i felt really down um yeah so i was at work and it was just the longest day of my entire life like there were so many emotions and i got into an argument with someone and it just made me feel like wow i should like where is your self-respect where is your self-love why are you getting yourself into these sort of situations you know so it just made me reflect all in all dealing with people that i didn't feel respected me that i didn't feel valued me oh, i don't even know where i'm going with this but yes i felt very very sad today um i have been feeling sad for a while now i've been having some identity crisis or like an identity issue like during lockdown it was a very hard time for me i really 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 struggle I still struggle or struggled to see myself like when people compliment me I don't know what they're talking about I just say you know thank you and yeah I really really don't see it and I don't say things like this to get more compliments but I really don't see myself um, I literally don't see myself I don't know what that means but I can't see how I look I know people, <laughs> I don't want to sound, yeah, I know people often compliment me, but I don't see myself. And I just feel like I just assumed this was going to be one of the worst years of my life after my birthday getting cancelled in March. And I had to do, you know, a lockdown birthday and then the whole lockdown. I thought, yep, this year's cancelled, let me forget about it. But you know what? Something else said to me, use this as an opportunity use this to just do a whole 360 and turn your life around and that's exactly what i did i for the last and final time i went on my weight loss journey i successfully lost weight there's lots and lots of videos on that on my channel if you want to see that and also i overcame the fear of um showing my real skin i guess um, I've got bad acne, you can probably see that in this video and for the first time ever I put a picture of me no makeup on on social media and I just overcame that fear and it was like I've already overcame my weight and now I've overcame my skin, it's still bad, it's getting better but there was just something else and I just couldn't put my hands on it there was something else that was weighing me down I had already left my bad, bad relationship. I was already moving forward. Things are well, I guess. Things for me right now is going well. But there was just something that was really, 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 really making me feel sad. And I just couldn't put my hands on it. I couldn't put my hands on it. And yeah. So I just, I don't know. This wasn't an impulsive decision. I guess I had already been thinking about it for a while now. I had already known that my hair is extremely damaged. Um, I had already known that I will have to cut my hair at some point. And to be honest with you, I don't even remember what my natural hair looks like. I have not seen my natural curl pattern in years. And don't get me wrong, I'm not someone that hates natural hair like i loved my curls when i had them i often wore like my small afro out all the time um yeah i 
was happy to wear my afro out i didn't even do my edges most of the time so it wasn't a thing where i didn't like myself or it was self-hate or anything like that it was just my natural hair was really difficult but like this time around i want to put the same energy that i put into laying my wigs and making my wigs look great into my natural hair like that's my number one priority moving forward and also yeah there was i don't know i guess there's some personal relationships that i am currently attached to and i don't know what it was but after I cut, like, I cut off the first bit of that hair, I just felt so free. I just felt really free, like a weight has been taken off my shoulders. I felt like I could breathe, the air was a bit thinner, it was a bit lighter. I just can't explain it and just, I wasn't even emotional, I wasn't sad, I didn't have any regrets. Like, I looked in the mirror and I was like, wow. And I don't even know what that wow meant. Like, I was just, I wasn't mad about it. Like, it just felt like a new page has opened, a new chapter. I know it sounds really cliche and really, really cringe. <laughs> Cut your hair, start your life over. But I am currently sat here doing this voiceover, bold as anything. And I'm not mad about it. Like, I'm not mad about it. Once I cut my hair with the scissors, I then realized that it was patchy, really patchy. And the reason why I didn't go to a professional to get it cut was because I had to be the one to take my hair off my head myself. If someone else did it, I would still feel an attachment to my hair. But the fact that I did it, I know I'm, it's probably a hot mess. I know it's a hot mess, but I just had to get all the hair off any means possible. I didn't want a single strand of hair on my head. I wanted everything that comes out of my head moving forward to be fresh, to be virgin hair that hasn't been touched and just fresh. I know that this looks like a hot mess, but it is what it is um yeah and i guess i wanted to be able to look back at this whole process because it was quite tedious it was very tedious and this is literally me i got back from work i cried my eyes out on the bus <laughs> um i actually got off the bus and i you know i just thought you know what let me just get a taxi home i can't sit for the rest of this journey it's too much because i was just crying it was awful and about three uber drivers cancelled on me i don't know why like i said this was just a very bad day for me and yeah this day was ghetto as anything but i got home and i just dropped my bags i sat on that chair I looked in the mirror and I just thought this is not it this is not it like I just was not impressed I was not impressed with how I was looking I just looked tired my hair looked tired everything about me just looked tired and damaged and broken and sad and I looked and I thought Aisha are you being impulsive are you doing this because you're having a bad day and you want a quick fix or you think for some reason you cutting your hair would mean i don't know a new beginning or would help you feel like you're having a fresh start like that wasn't even it like as soon as i started cutting off my hair i just felt more beautiful i felt more beautiful than i have than i have felt wearing a wig like it's weird when i wear wigs i don't see myself it's like yeah i look nice but who is that anyway do you know what i mean like who is she like i don't recognize the person i i was looking at and it was like for the first time i looked in the mirror and it was just me and my big head it was just me and that was it 
like I just can't believe I am making this video and I am just so proud of myself and the growth like not even like just the growth in general the growth of self-confidence the growth of just not caring what anybody thinks <laughs> like I'm so proud of myself yeah at this point the, the shaving stick wasn't working I had to improvise and I just put some good old hair removal cream on there and yeah I left that on for a little bit and Bob's your uncle oh damn like I'm just so shook <laughs> I wonder what my mom is gonna say what my dad's gonna say what my sisters are gonna say I mean I don't think I'll be going out bald headed I would still be wearing my wig anyways but yeah I'm just really happy I'm really really happy with it um yeah you can see some strand of hair on the chair that is my actual hair <laughs> oh my god <sighs> but I just hope this video can inspire someone to not be attached to their natural hair like look that's my hair crusty damaged just that is just not it so yep everything is off now there's my bald head there's my bow here oh my goodness i'm gonna get trolled so hard <laughs> <laughs> oh no but you know what i've just reached a point where like at this point can you see i'm smiling i felt really pretty i felt really really pretty i don't know how i can even say this but despite my acne despite the discoloration despite the bold head i felt really beautiful and i am someone that hardly ever says that i hardly ever look at myself and think oh you're you are beautiful i'm like mm, yeah you look all right you look nice fair enough but yeah i'm just really happy and i will definitely be documenting my hair journey like i don't know how often i want to do it but i guess i will be documenting my hair growth often on this channel i'll have a playlist with all of my hair so i hope you enjoyed this video and i'll see you on the next one bye bye <laughs>